All right, we're at the next site in Woodbury, Minnesota. And gosh darn it, if you look up, it looks like we could have a thunderstorm coming our way. And lawn, mowing lawns, it's about being fast. It's about being efficient. The key, that is the key to success, is getting in, getting out, getting it right. But when you're rushed, that's a completely different thing. That's not being fast, that's not being efficient. That's adding a layer of stress onto your job, which means that when you're mowing, you get a little tiny strip. You gotta remember, customers are paying for perfection. They're not paying to have clumps of grass laying all over or mar weird marks in their lawn. And they're not paying to have spots missed and excuses made. They're paying for everything to be done right. Go ahead, Jake. And that's what we got to do. And when you're rushed, you tend to miss it. So, in this case, we are rushed. And what we're going to do, we're just going to calm down at the end of the job. We're going to do this job fast, efficient, and we're going to go through our checklist to make sure that absolutely everything has been taken care of. So let's go over the job. Nice, but easy lawn. I love these lawns. Easy. So we got to come in here and mow all this. Nice big field. We're probably going to switch the pattern up. The pattern's been going this way. Today we're going to go the opposite way. Uh, Jake, guy's a go-getter, man. To tell you straight up, this guy's a go-getter. I like it. I love. It. I love it. I love this guy. He does an amazing job. He hops out and just starts going. That's what you need. You need that crew that'll do that. You got guys that sit around and smoke their cigarettes and they talk and they look. That's where you're gonna lose your tail on a mowing job, especially. You got a guy like this, he's willing to get out and just start going and he's careful and he's conscientious. He's a keeper. So let's just go through this scene and see what we gotta do. I see little bits of paper. We're gonna have to pick all this up because I don't want to chop that into the lawn. We've got, what else do we have? I always move this thing. It's just PVC, but instead of trying to trim around it, just yank it up onto this short part. See that lawn over there? I'm not gonna, critique somebody else's work but I would not like to have clumps of grass like this left this is what I try to avoid is this it's not gonna hurt the lawn unless it's really bad but it hurts the image customers don't like to see that they're paying for perfection that's what it boils down to so I make sure that that's what I give them and it takes time you got to find your market. If you're going to be that guy to make sure that everything is done well, you may have to charge a little bit more on your lawns. If a customer isn't as picky and you can get in and out and get, to, get it done faster, that's a different market. Know your market. On this one in Woodbury, here, these guys are in between. So we're just going to make sure we do a good job. But I got to quit yapping because I hear thunder boomers coming. You can hear it crackling and rumbling and beneath behind me. So I'm gonna grab the 52. This is a 52 inch Toro grandstand. And it has, I think this one has a hundred hours on it. 104.4. Yeah, that's good. We're getting some hours on this bad boy. I don't think we're gonna use this 30 inch commercial Toro, which that lawnmower does not impress me. And if you're the Toro rep and you're seeing this, tough titty said the kitty, I don't care. This thing just does not, this, this Toro, I would expect that I could walk behind it and daydream and lollygag and flip and all. I gotta push this thing and it's self-propelled. He's like, well, it's just a simple adjustment. Well, I simply adjusted it and I still gotta push my ball sack off sometimes. So, anyway. We'll get this one unstrapped. I'm doing the illegal one strap across the wheel move. And this Toro 
I got this bad boy butted up tight to the trailer and then I strap it in to lock it in place. If I get pulled over by the DOT, tit meet ringer because I'm in trouble. I don't have a license plate on the front. <laughs> Which I do have to fix that because I'm not technically uh, I'm not technically driving the truck as much anymore, so I gotta I'm obligated to quit messing around and do it right. So let's get this show on the road. Thunder boomers are coming down. We've got it all mowed. If we change the pattern up, that way we don't get compaction. Just makes the, the nice crisscross crisscross hatch pattern just looks good. But we've got a little bit of grass clippings here. Of course you're gonna have grass clippings as we're here for, but what you're gonna see is Jake's gonna probably start blowing the whole yard. We're just gonna loosen it up so there's no clumping. There he goes. Yeah, we blow the whole darn yard. Make sure that it just, there's no clumps. I don't want any clumps. I'm picky, I'm really picky. Um, I really like this crisscross hatch pattern. Doesn't compact, looks good. Rain thunder boomers are coming and I'm doing my walkthrough. So we've got little things like all these trees. This is a customer that doesn't mulch around their trees. What they do is they let the grass grow up and mound around it. It looks cool, but boys, you can't mow, so you get to, gotta do that by hand. No worries, no issues there. Uh, we're gonna have to blow off the, the sport court here before, uh, before it starts pouring rain on us. Um, other than that, I don't, so far in my walkthrough, this guy didn't miss nothing. Everything looks really good. I think this one is uh, just wrap up what we're doing and we're out. So that's List Lawn in Woodbury, Minnesota. And um, nope, right here. A little bit longer right there. And there's a spot right there, right around this, right there. Okay, gotta touch some stuff up. Okay, got a few spots here. I'm gonna go grab the trimmer, put my sunglasses on, my safety goggles, because you guys out there have reminded me many times to do that, and I thank you for it. I appreciate that. That is awesome, because that just helps everybody else stay safe. I hope you guys are safe. Love you guys. Take care, happy mowing.